more people we have involved in the outdoors, the more conservancy we're going to have, the more buy-in we're going to have, the more support we're going to have for protecting wild places and spaces. And we really need to have that, or if we don't, and people start taking it for granted, then we're just not going to have those spaces anymore for people to go to. So the Canadian Canoe Foundation was the sponsors of the trip, as well as there's a few corporate sponsors as well. And Canoe North was the outfitter for the trip. The trip was uh, about getting kids on the river. We decided to go on the Mackenzie River. It's the biggest river in Canada. Um, we went from Fort Simpson to Wrigley. It was 238 kilometers over six nights and seven days. There was eight kids on this trip. Uh, there was, uh, the kids were coming from all over the Northwest Territories. There was two kids also from uh, British Columbia. I looked at the, uh, at the menu. I started packing things up and getting things organized because uh, th that stuff takes a long time. Getting it packed away, getting it labeled. Just making sure we have everything, just so we don't get out on the water and uh, are, are missing food or missing gear or whatever it happens to be. things to think about. When you start seeing them, uh, you get a real quick first impression that may not always be right, but some kids were quite outgoing, some were really, really quiet, but that stuff changes as you go along. Um, and it looked like a pretty diverse group, especially having some kids from the south as well as having some community kids from the Northwest Territories. So I knew it was going to be interesting, but I knew they would also learn from each other. We're going to set it right here, just like that, right there. Good. We took a quick uh, poll of who had been on the water before, who had done any paddling, found out that we did have some experienced paddlers, but we also had some who didn't have much experience other than maybe just puddling around in a, in a real flat lake. So I knew it was going to be a bit of a challenge right from day one. <laughs> and especially with the weather that we had on day one, which was windy and wet. Most days unfolded with the fire going and get the Coleman stove going, get the coffee on. The kids would roll out of bed. Once we had eaten, uh, then it was time to tear down. We'd get out on the water and mid-morning have a bit of a break, um, have a snack, raft up sometimes. And then we would stop for lunch. Uh, most of the time it was a, a sandwich lunch or a wrap or something like that, mid-afternoon. Figure out kind of how far we'd gone, how far we want to go for the day, and how the energy levels were going. And then uh, stop for the night, find a good campsite. The kids would just basically get all their stuff set up on their own. They knew how to set up the tents, which was excellent. Start gathering wood. We had a couple of real good fire builders, which was excellent. Some really good cooks, and they would uh, they would jump in and start helping with the uh, food prep and and getting all that stuff ready. And then after that, a little bit of free time. Three, two, one, one. go.
maybe some fishing. As, as the light was starting to fade, we would get them kind of getting towards bed because we were going to try to get them up early most morning. From day one to day seven, there's a huge change from the kids. And I would say even that change starts about at day three, where they start realizing what they can do and they want to do more. And they just want to keep going and achieve the goal that they, they set up for themselves. It's awesome to see that face when uh, they realize they can do certain things that they didn't think they would do. One of the goals of the Canadian Canoe Foundation was uh, raising environmental awareness. Taking kids out and realizing where their water goes and where, where the water is coming from and, and seeing it offhand on the land, paddling it, being like involved with the environment for seven days. They're trying to get these kids to be ambassadors, go back to their own communities, talk up what's happening on the river, um, whether it's a good thing or a bad thing. Canoeing is, is, is a great sport, it's very freeing. Um, you go where you point the canoe, and it's, it's just such a great mode of transportation. It's, it's a lot of fun to be on the water. It's a great lifestyle.